we first made the decision to travel to Albania, we had zero expectations. But this actually made our adventures even more special when we discovered how amazing this country really is. So we're gonna hit Saranda first, which is a little sleepy beach town. Then we're gonna be taking a bus up to Tirana to check out the capital city. We took a ferry ride over from Corfu, which cost about $20, and arrived in Saranda. Country number 20. Our apartment was massive and overlooked the beach, and we were paying less than $25 a night. So far, this place is awesome. Yeah, so this was our actually our 20th country. We just got here a few hours ago. Yeah, we so, made it! <laughs> so it's 20 countries together since we started dating. And this has been already a completely different and unique experience um, here in Albania. So, so far we've realized that they basically don't take credit card anywhere. Anywhere, like restaurants, <laughs> even if you spend a lot of money at a restaurant, um, even our place that we're staying at for a full week, no cards, only cash. Yeah, so plan on using cash when you're here. We're not sure if it has to do with the aftermath of COVID, but it does feel like a totally weird modern slash trip back in time here. Yeah. So this is our place. It's, uh, it's definitely different and it's like, funky and weird and retro but still modern <laughs> but so far we love it it feels like home and it's completely massive so we're excited to show you guys what it's like to travel in albania right now in 2021 we're going to show you around sarande and then we'll see what else happens There are tons of bars, we'll wait, which comes with a lot of happy hours. So we got some pretty reasonable priced drinks, we got some for us and our friends, and they've been delicious right on the beautiful ocean. What are you doing? It's working! Um, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. But what we noticed is there's no laundry mats here in Saranda at least. And uh, no really laundry service either, you have your dry cleaning, but there's just washers, so we'll be drying our clothes. <laughs> but after two weeks of traveling, I need clean underwear so bad. Okay, so this is what we got for 13 USD. So we've got some vegetables, some cheese, and of course, Snickers. What do we eat every day? Greek salad. <laughs> After eating a lot of good food, spending a lot of time taking beautiful photographs, and even more time being lazy on the beach, we decided it was time to get out and do a fun excursion. So we hopped on a local yacht cruise to check out a little bit more of the area around Saranda. So after tons of good times on the beach and boat, we decided it was probably time to take a bus up to the capital city and see a little bit more of what this country has to offer. So check out our place here in Tirana and it's only at $31 a night. We even got the city noises. <laughs> what? She left us a whole plate of these and it's the best candy I've ever had. They're called Carmele. Mm -hmm. She even left us with spices, which if you stay in Airbnbs often, you know this house is not always the case. This place is so fancy, it's considered a smart apartment. It's so nice. We've got like a brand new smart mirror. Push the button. Woo! You're going too fast. <laughs> 
Wow, this is so, so nice. So, Tirana is amazing and yes. affordable. After getting settled into our apartment, we wanted to go out for the night and see what Tirana was all about. And it was crazy, it impressed us so much. We had no idea what to expect, but we were not expecting all these amazing, funky restaurants, cool bars, and cafes. The scene here was immediately impressive. Okay, so we just came to this random restaurant that we had found on Google. It looks so delicious. But turns out, as long as you get a drink, you actually get free food, and it's kind of like buffet style. So we don't know what we got ourselves into, but we're excited. Keep to our budget, we couldn't just eat at fancy restaurants, so we had our fair share of sandwiches and pizza. But most of these restaurants were still very affordable. But regardless of price, everything we had here was delicious. So we just got lunch here in Tirana for less than three dollars. Woo! We've decided to get pizza! How much? Only a dollar a piece. Yeah. Mmm, cheesy. Mm. That was juicy. <laughs> All right, so we are currently at the new bazaar here in Tirana, and uh, they have a little bit of everything here. Yeah, it looks like a great place to shop if you guys want to get any souvenirs or presents or fruit. And the nice thing about this is there's a bunch of cafes and grocery shops and everything surrounding the square. So it's really just a fun place to come hang out and get some snacks. We're gonna go get some snacks and coffee. Just walking around, we noticed how cool Tirana is. There are beautiful statues and amazing architecture everywhere you look. When you're not eating at a cool restaurant or just walking around checking out the architecture, there's also some really interesting museums. Albania has a very interesting history, and it turns out, due to some paranoia during the Cold War, they actually built so many useless bunkers that there are 5.7 bunkers for every 14.7 square miles. And that means a total of 173,000 plus bunkers by 1983. Most of these have never even been used. But they've converted one of the most prominent bunkers into a museum, which was our absolute favorite. It was a little strange, but it left us with a better understanding of the history of Albania and the people who live here. Okay guys, Albania has been amazing. I feel like we will definitely come back to explore more of this country. We had no expectations, but this place blew our minds. It's completely awesome, and if you are in the area, make sure to head to Albania. Also, if you enjoyed this video, we're heading to Montenegro next, so make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. See you guys on the next one. Jess and Maya. At it again. <laughs>